what I'm doing today is besides the announcement is I'm just showing you how to uh, send all your your forms um, to Dawn for approval. And then the other thing is commissions. I'm not doing the whole shebang -y of walking through a whole transaction. So uh, unfortunately, Brad thinks that he, I don't need to do that. So I don't know what you were expecting today. I've been doing the whole whole thing every week. So a couple quick announcements that I wanted to tell you about. Um, now that dot has been expanded, I don't know exactly what that's going to mean for all of us, but in the big picture, even before we, we before before we expanded dot loop, um, if you still if you're still going to use dot loop, you still have to pull all your dot loop forms into command to send them for approval, and if you want to get paid. So you can't just not use command. And as far as I know, that dates the 15th and that's coming really fast. So you've got to upload each of your documents if you're going to keep using dot loop into command and then send them to Don for approval. And then you also need to go to commissions to get paid. Um, the good part is commissions is very simple. And it also keeps track of your whole year, and we'll go over that in a couple of minutes. Uh, how many people are still going to use Dot Loop? I never used it. You to didn't? Begin with. No, I came on in October, so they, I never even got on there. Okay, so are you using Command? Yep. Good, good. I'm having trouble with my Dot Loop. And so I thought I was going to just wait until June 15th when we started with command. But no, I haven't. You can, use, you can use command now. You don't have to wait till June 15th. How do, how do I get into my command thing? Okay, well, first of all, do you have the, the printout, the 35 page printout on how to do a transaction? I do not. Okay, if any of you do not have it, send me an email and I will email it to you after we're finished today. And my email address is F-H-O-R-N-S-T-E-I-N at kw.com. And I will send you the, it has um, pictures of every step you need to take through to do it. And if you haven't done a class with the command through the whole way through it, you should do it on Wednesday with Brad. And in the beginning, it, it seems like it's really difficult, but once you get through it, it's pretty easy. And what I did was even with mine, you know, I use a cheat sheet as I went through. And um, what I did was I highlighted every step. So I know which, which button I need to push as we go through the transaction. So I can go through it pretty quickly now. Okay, the other thing that you need to know is, um, is everybody using command for their contact management? You have a whole lot of people that aren't speaking. If you aren't, you should. Um, it's, it's one of the best things I ever did. I got everything out of all my um, Excel files, everything out of my file folders, everything that was on my desk, on my bookcase, and I put it all in command. And it really, really works wonderful. Um, it sends me reminders every morning of who I need to call, who I need to email. And you know, it, it's great. It's a great CRM. If you decide to leave the company, um, that's your information. Keller Williams does not poach your contact list. They don't use your contact list for any reason. If you leave, you get to take that all with you. Um, I don't know how you do that right now. I asked Sammy this morning. Someone asked me, they said, how do you do it? I said, I don't know. 
<laughs> so I sent an email to Sandy this morning saying, how do you do that? If someone wants to leave, how do they get their contact information out of, out of the system? So I'm finding out how to do that. So if you want to leave, let me know and I'll help you with that. Okay, so moving forward. Uh, let's see. Okay. Now the dot loop we have to pay for if we choose to use it now, right? Not not right now. They've decided to continue to pay for it. Oh, because it, I couldn't put in new people in my under my KW uh, email address. And I and I got I disposed of everything I have with Magia Realty. Um, you couldn't what say that again? Um, when I go into Dot Loop under uh, Keller Williams under my email address, it won't let me add stuff. It won't let you add stuff to Command? No, to Dot Loop. I don't know why under my KW uh, email address. I thought you said you weren't using dot loop. Well, I was going to stop because I can't get into it. So I was just waiting for the command now. Because okay, it won't let on. me. It won't let me um, add people. Okay, can everybody see my command screen? Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, yes. We, can, we can talk afterwards and try to figure out what's going on with you, okay. Lisa Marie. Um, but we, we need to keep moving here. Okay, there's two things we wanna to do today, and that is um, to show you, once you get a deal done in the system, is how you report it. It's called compliance. How you send it to Don or to Becky for, uh-oh, we have three people in the waiting room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not letting Brad in. I have a question. Yes. So if we um, have closing settlements this month and they've already, I've done them all in dot loop, they've been approved, did the green sheets in dot loop, do I have to still put them into command or if I put them into command, is that going to mess anything up? Uh, as of the 15th, you have to start green sheets go away. Okay, what about all the green sheets that are already, like, so I have a lot of set, I have like nine settlements on the 26th of June. Do I have That's to put fine. all of those no, in no. command? Okay. Nope. No, if, if they're I, all already in the system, yesterday I did a pile of them. Okay. So, and those are for things that are coming up. So, just, as long as you, you have them in the system, they're already good. If I do them, like, as practice in command, is that going to mess anything up? Like if I, because what I did was I transferred all of our current pendings into command um, yesterday and I'm just kind of going through it as you're going through it. But if I like go ahead and put the offers in and put the commission and do the commissions part, is that going to mess anything up because I have it in dot loop too? It won't let you go. It won't let you come in, won't let you go to commissions unless you have a completed deal. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So I wouldn't, wouldn't even be able to. Right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So that's one of the things that, that you'll see as we go through here. So here's Mark Stephen Henkel. That's my husband. He gets, e he gets emails with deals all the time. And I get home at night and he says, am I supposed to sign this? And I said, well, no, not today. So um, we're going to use him and we're going to go to um, this deal that we did on the 26th. And Details, my profile, hold on for a minute. Okay, here we go. Documents. So here's, here's a list of documents that you, there's a whole, here's a whole list of all the possible documents that we have available. What you need to do is you need to pick out the documents you used for this particular deal. So you either need to write them down or you need to remember. Okay, for a listing, it's pretty, pretty standard. You have an exclusive right to sell listing agreement. You have a CIS, you have an ABA, you have a seller's disclosure, 
you have lead-based paint, and you have a radon, okay? So you're gonna have at least those six documents that you're gonna to need to send for approval. If you have any additional documents, you need to remember what they are or write them down. So you can see over here where I'm, I'm, my mouse is, I already sent these for approval. So, but we're just gonna pretend like we haven't. So let's say it's exclusive right to sell unapproved land is one of the documents. Just go over, add to file, go to DocuSign, and it brings up the list of, of the documents and you pick it out and you just go assign. Okay, I'm just making this up as I go. So radon, we're gonna say, yeah, we want a radon. That's what, one of the documents that we did. Uh, it's not even in here. So it's telling me that I did not do a radon agreement for a radon agreement for this deal. So I can't send it for approval. So when you go through here, it's gonna show you what the possibilities are. There isn't any radon, so, um, Blank addendum listing, add to file, okay. DocuSign, okay. And again, it's not in here because it doesn't exist. So one of the things that you wanna notice is manually uploading documents. This is where you're going to want to drag and drop documents in here from dot loop if you're gonna keep using your dot loop account. So in dot loop, I guess what you're gonna to have to do is take the document and store it on your hard drive and then upload it into here. So you would go manual, drag and drop, go to your computer and find the document. Does that make sense, everybody? Yes. Hey, Frank, uh, do we need to um, separate them before we upload them or can we separate them in, in DocuSign? You have to, to upload each document Individually, okay. Yes. And I'm sorry, I, I got in at five before nine and I just logged in now. I don't know how it, I was sitting in the waiting room, um, but I missed some, some of the questions and it seemed like up to June 15th, do we have to do green sheet? I just got a contract and I need to submit it from Saturday or do we have to do DocuSign and I use dot loop. Okay, you can do a green sheet up until the 15th you can do either or. So if you're still in dot loop, go ahead and do the green sheet and submit for compliance through dot loop. Okay. Okay, Thank once, you. once the 15 hits, um, then we kind of flip the switch. And then you, if you're gonna keep using dot loop, then you're gonna need to upload each of the documents from dot loop into command and send them for compliance, just like I'm doing right now. As you can see where I did said manual, drag and drop, and then I can go back over here and pull up the documents from dot loop that I've saved in my hard drive and then assign them and send them for compliance. Okay, well, I didn't really add anything right there. So when you get done, um, what you can do, I need to move your pictures over here. Once you get finished with your documents, you have them all here, you can just go, it says resubmit because I already sent something. So you just hit submit and those go to Dawn for approval. Okay, so I just sent all this stuff to Dawn and I'm like, damn, I forgot to put a, uh, an ABA in there. So you can just go ahead and add it, look for it. It's either gonna be, um, um, it's gonna be here in command or you're gonna manually upload it. Now, do you see when I said add an ABA, but when I go to the pick through the documents, it's not there. Does everybody see that? That means I didn't, didn't do one. So I can't add a, an ABA because none exists. So you can't add a blank document for compliance. If I'd done an ABA for this particular contract, it would be there when I asked for it. Everybody got that? Okay. Is that a yes? No? Maybe? Yes. Yes. Everybody? Yes, sir. Yes, 
Okay. So if you forget to add a document, you just go in and, and just click on it and add the file and you're done. You don't have to hit the submit submit button today at another time. So tomorrow, hey, yes. Is is there something called a you know, seller's net proceeds sheet? Is that something that is in these documents or is that somewhere else? Uh, like to show, you know, the list of the seller, you know, once you take into consideration all their, you know, what they owe, how you would show them what they're going to end up with. Is that, is there, there is something, I've seen it, but I don't know where uh, it is. I agree with you. Um, yeah, there is, but I don't know where it is. So Okay. <laughs> I'll look for it. I don't know every everything. I'm low man on the totem pole here. On the totem pole? All right. Yeah. Thank you. So. Are you looking for the seller net sheet? Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's when you first click on opportunities and you click on yeah. the actual um, the actual opportunity to the lower right hand side. It'll have um, the seller net information that you plug in and it'll give you it on that side. Oh, oh, okay. I knew I saw <laughs> It's right in the beginning before you get into, he's, he's dug deeper down. It's, it's a little bit back, <laughs> back a couple. Gotcha. Steps. Thank you, Bandy. Thank You're you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So now we've submitted for compliance to Dawn and then um, what will happen is she's going to look at them and then she'll approve them. If there's a problem with a document, she's going to send it back and right above like CIS, there'll be a little note in red will say, hey, you sent me a blank document or, or you, well, I'm sorry, you can't send a blank document. It'll say, you know, something screwed up with this document. You need to fix it. And what will happen is your little bell up here will be lit up, which you click on it and it'll tell you, give you a note from Don saying you need to look at this particular opportunity there's a problem with it you need to fix it so whenever you sign into command look at your bell and see if it's lit up because that means you have a message from somebody up above in authority telling you, you have to do something everybody okay yep. okay yep. so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to um Going, move you guys back over here again. We're going to go to commissions. And the nice thing about this is, um, let's see, opportunities. Okay, so I'm going to click on this one and let you look at this for a second. Okay, I clicked on the first opportunity. Come on. Okay, I just clicked randomly on the first one. You see the commissions? It's not lit up. So that, that, that means that you don't have a completed deal and it won't let me go into commissions. Okay, it just won't let me go in there. So we're going to go back again. And come on. Come on, let's see. Back. Opportunities. Four. Okay, and I'm going to click on this particular opportunity that I did. And this was another one with Mark. Now this one, see the commission lights lit? This means that 
it's a done deal. It's all signed off by everybody and it's ready to go to commissions. So you click on commissions and this is all old information. So don't look at my numbers and say what a slacker you are, Frank Hornstein. Um, <laughs> this is basically a screenshot from back in March. Okay, the first thing you're gonna see is uh, you're gonna have a summary of everything that's happening with you. You, you can look down here, and I have a partner, so he's in here too. You're going to see right away where you are as far as your cap status. Um, so you don't have to know, guess anymore, and try to keep track of it. Email Betty, email Becky, and say, okay, where am I on cap? Okay, it's going to tell you as soon as you do a deal where you are. Right now, without doing the deal, you can come in here and look at it and say, okay, here's where I am. Um, as soon as you put another deal and it updates your numbers automatically. That's one of the nice things about it. This takes the place of green sheets, which I absolutely hate. Okay, so automatically into, into the commission sheet, for lack of a better name or a green sheet, um, it puts the price in, it puts our commission side in, which is 3%, for a total of fifteen thousand uh, dollars, the contract date, the close date. If that's not right, you know you can change that. Okay, and then I have a partner, so this gets a little bit muddy. Um, so the things that you need to know are that you need to fill in. The rest of this fills in automatically. You do not need to fill anything in from here down. It'll fill in automatically. What you do need to fill in is add an item. This is really important. Okay, so you know how we charge that uh, $50 fee for every transaction? Anybody with me? AW does, yes. Yeah, so what you do is you put it in under bonus. add in, some people charge different amounts of money. So some people charge $395 a transaction. So we would add 395. It won't let me do it because it's already been a done deal. So you would put in the total amount that you're charging the client for the transaction fee. And then you go here and you put in the deduction for the $50 that we pay KW. Okay. So, and all you need to do is write down here is transaction fees. Everybody okay with me? Yes. Okay, so the yeah. next thing you need to know is um, bonus again. So say for instance, um, you had a contract where the other side said, we'll give you $5,000 if you sell this house by the end of the month you got $5,000. So you just put in here bonus $5,000 additional to your already your commission add. Okay, so scroll down some more. Inside referral, outside referral. Let, let's do an outside referral. So you had a referral to Joe Schmo over Caldwell Banker. How much was the referral fee? Where's my phone? So you paid 25% uh, to 25% to, um, and it should put this in here automatically, um, to Caldwell Banker and to Mary. Um, you need to put the address in, you need the tax ID. And this is for an outside referral, meaning anybody outside our company. Y'all there? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then the other thing we have, wait, hold on for a second. One second, come on. Okay, the other thing we have is inside referral. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. Okay, inside referral is a referral from a KW agent. 
So KW agent uh, up in Wilmington sent you a referral. So how much are you paying them? Who is the agent? Is anybody that's in our system already? Is everybody okay? Yep. Okay, yep. and then yep. that, that's it. When you're done, you hit submit. And that's kind of the end of the green sheet. Questions um, on- Frank, I, this is Julie. I just wanted to let you know that I um, actually put Joe Schmo as an agent <laughs> um, for my Op City referral. Um, uh -huh. And um, just a heads up, um, I'm not going to stay with Op City. I'm just doing that right now. But um, they, it, it was difficult because um, you had to put in the, the uh, tax number, you know, all those things that are highlighted. And um, Betty had, uh, Krug had uh, suggested that you add Op City, she gave me all the information I needed into my contacts so that all that is already in there uh, when you have to fill it out. So if you're getting it from any kind of, you know, if it's a normal thing, you might want to put them in your contacts, uh, just the FYI. So what, again, was that, was that an outside referral? Yeah, Op City is an outside referral. Um, they're connected to realtor.com. Okay. Um, but, you know, they take a big chunk. It's like 30%. So, yeah. you know, yeah. yeah. So they, they, they would go into that, that outside referral thing. So, yeah. unfortunately, it, some, sometimes, go ahead. sometimes it asks questions that, there's not really an answer to and like you're saying so you just have to make it up you have to make it up exactly yeah. yep because yep. it's a required field right so right. it won't let you proceed unless you put something in there and usually i put you know my name or, or my partner's name in there and their telephone number because it's a required field that's the only way to, to you know get the system to work so yeah, definitely. Betty, you know, like they had a PO box address and it wouldn't take a PO box. So I had to put a whole, you know, a different address, but you know, wow. Betty already knows where the, the money goes. So as long okay. as Op City is on there, she knows. So Okay. So All right. questions on the on the new commission sheet, for lack of a better word. Everybody out there? Okay, last call. Um, tomorrow, Brad has a class um, training from the beginning to the end, putting a whole deal in, and you should attend that. If you have any questions, you're welcome to uh, call me or email me. If you want a copy of the, the printout of how to do, do the deal from beginning to end, send me an email and I'll be happy to send that to you. Anybody? Frank, what was your email again? Uh, F-H-O-R-N-S-T-E-I-N at kw.com. Thank you. Okay. 15th is coming fast, so start practicing. Thank you, Frank. Let me know if I can help any of you. All right. Okay, take care. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.